Hi, so this is the card that I uh, wanted to show you how to make today. Just another very quick and easy one. So it's a Highland Heather card base with some of the designer series paper from the hand pen suite. Um, and it's actually the reverse of one of the flowery sides. Um, just beautiful paper. Yeah, hand pen designer series paper. And I've also used some of the in colour um, vellum which has got like a frosted effect on it. So on this one, I did the mint macaron, uh, sorry, not mint macaron, soft succulent. Um, but actually I thought I would do color on color, tone on tone. So um, it's using the color and contour stamp, which I stamped onto the paper. I then die cut it using the color and contour die. And I just die cut the little bit of um, vellum as you can see so I'm just going to glue that um, I've also got some gorgeous grape ribbon um, which is I think retiring it's in the um, January to June catalogue so that's about to retire um, but it is still available at the moment so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of the vellum uh, and because it's going on top of a um, already coloured piece it won't the, the glue shouldn't show through hopefully that's the plan just need my tweezers so there we go I'm just gonna put that onto there might just need to cut a couple of little bits off but hopefully it will fit and I'm doing this on my uh, silicone mat again because if there's any glue goes over the edge it sticks onto the silicone and doesn't cause a problem. So, so I've already die stamped and die cutted, die cut. Sorry, the flower. And there we go. So you can just see the stamping through it. Just move that to one side and let it dry. And that's the one we're doing. So I've cut um, my card base is um, twenty one centimeters by fourteen point eight and scored at ten point five. And I then got a piece of designer series paper, which is ten centimeters by fourteen point three. And the vellum, which will sit on top, is nine point five by thirteen point eight. So you're just going to get the edges, but it just it just gives it a really nice effect. So I'm just going to use my stamping seal to put that designer series paper onto the card base. I do love this colour. It's not one I use an awful lot, but uh, one of my granddaughters loves it. So, um, And the sentiment that I've used is very appropriate because um, some of our neighbours who've been absolutely brilliant came to a garden centre, garden centre with us today. Um, and they've now planted loads of stuff in our garden for us, which is very, very kind of them. So I'm just going to put the vellum on with glue dots in the four corners. Um, and again, you shouldn't see too much of them. But then at the end, I will put some Highland Heather um, pearls over the top. So that will hide that. And I'm just going to put my ribbon around it so again just put a little bit of stamp and seal there and there I might need to trim this ribbon it's a bit long okay was meaning to pre-tie a ribbon because trying to tie a ribbon on camera is quite tricky. So then it, you can see I can use in the glue dots, um, just stick that down. Now you can just slightly see the glue dots, but again, if you weren't looking for them, you probably wouldn't really notice them. I'm just gonna line that up a bit better. There we go. And my ribbon's not quite straight. So if you can see the glue dots were just at the top, but again, I'm gonna put some um, pastels over that and I'm just going to use some dimensionals to stick my flower down my trusty flower and I've got some small ones here 
brilliant these little ones amazing that you can get into the tiniest little places with them okay it's a bit warm in my craft room today but we mustn't complain because we've been desperately seeking the sun um, after all that dreadful rain in May okay so just gonna peel all the backs off the fiddliest job but they are amazing these little dimensionals there we go so I'm just going to put that over the top of the ribbon and stick that down there we go okay so that's that done let's just get rid of these and then as I mentioned I've got the pearls so um, there's the gorgeous great ones. I'm actually going to use the Highland Heather ones. So just put one, whoops, just on the glue dot in all four corners. Now I think I've mentioned to you before, for some reason our brain likes odd numbers. So usually I would do three, but because I'm having to do four to do the four corners, um, I'm actually going to do five today. Um, I just need a little bit of ribbon. And my ribbon has vanished. Where's that gone? Nope. Nope. Obviously being too tidy and close right, and putting it away. So I'm just gonna cut enough for a small bow. In fact, because I'm on camera, I'm actually just gonna do it in a little knot. Um, because my, I'm all fingers and thumbs. Nope. Literally, fingers and thumbs. Let's see if I can get that through that time. There we go. So, let's just tie that in a little knot, trim that off. And just put that with a glue dot on the stem of the flower I do like this color beautiful and then as I said it's very appropriate because our neighbors have just been amazing and um, the sentiment is just going to be a thank you there we go so that one I've put thank you for everything so if it ain't broke don't fix it so we'll just tap 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 And there we go so that took 10 minutes plus the die cutting and the cutting of the materials so probably from start to finish 15 minutes anyway i hope you like that and i do hope that our neighbors like it thanks for watching bye bye